Senator Ted Cruz represents Texas and is on the Judiciary Committee. All right, Senator, you heard the primetime plan. What are we going to do about this? Well, Jesse, listen, you're, you're exactly right. I will say the entire state of Texas, the entire country is, is grief stricken. What we have seen the face of evil here in South Texas. It is horrific. The kind of monster that, that walks into an elementary school and executes 19 little children. That there are 19 families right now that are, that are experiencing the most horrific and unimaginable agony. There is the nightmare of every parent. There, there are two more families, the families of those two teachers who hero heroically gave their lives. Enough is enough. This is horrific. So look, I agree with you. We need to do something. But the something is not the, the empty political posturing uh, of people like, you know, Beto O'Rourke, who shows up and tries to turn it into a, a political event instead of, instead of a, a briefing with the police about a horrific mass murder that just happened. The something we can do is we can pass legislation. It's interesting, I was listening to what you were saying, Jesse. I've introduced legislation that would do much of that. In 2013, I introduced legislation that would spend $300 million dollars on federal grants to harden schools, to make them safer, to make them more protected, the Democrats filibustered that legislation. I've introduced legislation to, to say schools like this elementary school behind me can get federal grants to harden their security, to put in bulletproof doors, bulletproof glass, to put in armed police officers to protect kids. $1.3 billion in federal funds that are available. Again, the Democrats blocked a vote on it. And, and I got to say, this is frustrating here. This mass murderer came in through an unlocked door in the back of the school. It's the exact same way the mass murderer came into the school in Santa Fe, just outside of Houston. I was there that horrible morning. I sat at round tables with the parents and families talking about how to make schools safer. And one of the things that, that, that everyone agreed is don't have all of these unlocked back doors. Have one door into and out of the school and have that one door armed police officers at that door. If that had happened, if those federal grants had gone to this school, when that psychopath arrived, the armed police officers could have taken him out and we'd have 19 children and two teachers still alive. We need to do something, but it's not empty political posturing. It's acting and acting strongly to keep our kids safe. Yeah, you mentioned Beto O'Rourke crashed the press conference today, total disgrace humiliated himself. I want to play that for the audience and then we can react. I know you were there. Sit down. You're out of, you're out of line and an embarrassment. Hey. Was after El Paso. Sit, sit down and don't play. Right. 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 The next shooting is right now and you are doing nothing. No. You're off right now. This, this, is is place to to this is totally predictable when you Sir, you're out of line. Sir, you are out of line. Sir, you are out of line. Please leave your auditorium. So you were standing right behind that whole action. What was going down in the room when that went down? Look, I, I was shocked. We were going through a briefing, listening to law enforcement about precisely what had happened, about what the next steps were. And, and it was disgusting. He strode to the front of the room and tried to turn it into a political rally. And, he, and I guess his campaign is flailing. He's going to lose. But, you know, just just after you ended that clip, the mayor of Uvalde, he, he turned to Beto. He said, you're a sick son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, because to take something, you've got grieving families. You've got a community that is broken to pieces and to try to politicize it and turn it into a rally the, the way Beto did. It was really I, I've seen a lot of crass behavior that that, that, that was embarrassing. And it, it was. It was disgusting. Yeah, you got to read the room better than that, Beto. So um, before we let you go, do you think there's any chance you can get any sort of legislation through the Senate to, to harden these soft targets, these schools? Is there any chance to put anything in action right now? Or you think it's just a lost cause with the Senate the way it is? So, look, I hope so. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep fighting. I can tell you every time I've stood up to fight, the Democrats literally filibustered. They block a vote. In 2013, I introduced legislation called Grassley Cruz, which targeted felons and fugitives and with those with serious mental illness. It directed the Department of Justice to do an audit of, of federal convictions to make sure felons are in the database. It directed the Department of Justice to prosecute 
and put in jail felons and fugitives who try to illegally buy firearms. That vote in, in the Harry Reid Democrat Senate, I got a majority of the Senate voted in favor of Grassley Cruz, but the Democrats filibustered it. They right. demanded 60 votes. They defeated it because they wanted to go after law-abiding citizens instead of stopping the bad guys. We need to stop the bad guys. All right, Senator Ted Cruz, our, our hearts go out to you and everybody in the great state of Texas. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.